Let's copy paste this same deploy command and specify a stack name, then hit enter. Give it a few minutes for CloudFormation to deploy our SAM application, but you can also monitor the progress by going to the CloudFormation service. Consider this. You want to define your DynamoDB table resource in a SAM template and deploy it to AWS. Can you do this in a few steps by using Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Cloud9 service, then click on Create Environment and give it a name. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values. Hit Create, then give it a few minutes for the environment to come up. Click on Open Cloud9 IDE, then right-click on the parent folder and create a new folder under it. I'm going to call this folder SAM, then create a new file under it and call it dynamodb.yml. Double click on this file to open it. Here, I'm going to copy paste pre-return YAML template. On line one, I'm defining my transform key with an AWS serverless value, which helps CloudFormation transform and expand this file into a compliant CloudFormation template. On line two, I'm providing a description. And on line three, I'm starting the resources section. On line four, I'm giving my resource a name. And on line five, I'm specifying the resource type. Next, under properties, I'm giving my DynamoDB table a name and calling it property. I'm also specifying a primary key for this table and calling it property underscore ID, which is of the type number. For provision throughput, I'm setting both the read and write capacity units to six. Let's save this file and quickly look at this AWS developer guide, which shows what other properties you can use with this simple table SAM template. Next, let's head to our bash terminal window and use the cd or change directory command to go inside our SAM folder. Here, let's validate our template file by running SAM validate followed by hyphen t and specifying the name of our YAML file. Looks like our SAM template file is valid. If we have any errors, this is where it will show up. Next, we're going to package our SAM application using the SAM package command. Note, if you wanted to see all available options you can use with the SAM package command, you can type SAM package followed by hyphen hyphen help. Let's run our SAM package command and specify the input template file using the hyphen T option, and then specify the output template file using hyphen hyphen output dash template dash file option. Looks like our application was successfully packaged into this template file, and the output is also telling us to execute the same deploy command to deploy the package template. Let's copy paste this same deploy command and specify a stack name, then hit enter. Give it a few minutes for CloudFormation to deploy our SAM application, but you can also monitor the progress by going to the CloudFormation service. Looks like our DynamoDB stack was successfully created. Let's confirm this by going to the DynamoDB service, then click on tables. Confirm that you see your property table in active state with the primary key of property underscore ID and the read and write capacity set to six. Finally, if you wanted to delete this stack, you could go back to the CloudFormation tab, then hit delete to delete both the stack and all its resources. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the AWS SAM developer always carry an umbrella?